chair. I didn't know. Oh my gosh. I got it. I'm bracing you. Go ahead. <laughs> You'll dump me on oh, purpose. Oh, oh, oh. Let me see. That's because to you're, you're trying lap. to get in the center. Don't be in the center. You're not the star. We're the star. Let's go over. Too far. You are the one that put my bench down. Oh my gosh, we're going to have a half an hour of footage of just trying to sit down. <laughs> no, I don't really want to. Now. I've lost. Oh, sh <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> Hi, and welcome back to another edition of As Good As It Gets with Mikey and Chris. And I'm Why did you point at me? <laughs> Hi and welcome back to the second edition of As Good As It Gets with Chris. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Hi and welcome back to another edition of As Good As It Gets. I'm Chris. And I'm Mikey. And this is a weekly chat from our kitchen. High five, you got it. It took us like 20 <laughs> minutes to take that. Now that you've gotten your little intro, can we talk a little bit about uh, last week? Yes. So, holy Yay. cow. Yes. Like, we heard from so many of you. It you ought to so see nice. the comment stream. Y'all were nice and saying the cool things that you said. You had some great questions. Yeah. Um, it was the, the response, the feedback that y'all gave us, it just, it, it trust me, it made our entire week. You guys are amazing. We love our subscribers. We love the ones that are just now jumping in on the bandwagon for our crock posse. That's oh, what I'm going to start calling oh, it. Oh, lordy. No, see, he, he's been brainstorming with some of his friends. Slow cooking army, slow cooking family, and then last night at work, I've got a, uh, a guy that I work with who is one of my cousins, and he works right next to me, and we were talking about a group, and then I think he said something about the word posse, and then I thought crock pot, posse, crock posse. Okay, but I told him that before he starts referring to everybody is that maybe you should get a little bit of vote. Do you know how to do the vote thingy? You're making the eyes of, I don't know how to do the vote no. thingy. I think there's a vote thingy for them to vote. There's a vote thingy? I think so. On YouTube? Yes. And so maybe we can figure out the vote thingy and have them vote. Or even say down below. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put I'm gonna put down there, I'm going to put crock posse, yay or nay. And then just simply put yay if you like the idea of crock posse. If you don't like it, just put nay. Or tell us what, you, what idea you might have. Yeah. So, I think that's Slow cooking Army was one of them. Yeah. Slow cooking Family, because yeah. let's face it, we're all family here. Yeah. But my personal favorite is Crock Posse. Yes, he's been saying it over and over and I over have again. all night long. I called my wife immediately from work. I stopped what I was doing at work last night just to call my wife and say, Crock Posse. <laughs> All okay, right, so, let's move on. so thank you, thank you for all your questions. Yes. Keep on sending your questions. Um, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. We still have the Ninja giveaway going on for you're automatically entered if you subscribe. So subscribe. Subscribe by September 30th, and one lucky subscriber will receive a brand new Ninja cooking system. Yep. I love my Ninja. <laughs> It's, it's my favorite one. It is. I know everybody's like, oh, you always use the Ninja. I always use my favorite. And Well, we've got a question about that today. We do. From the readers. So well, we'll let's get, get to the questions We're going right to get now. to the questions. Okay. Okay. So am I supposed to be reading these to you or these for me? You? Look at this. Look, 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 look. I let him prepare the questions and it looks like a child has drawn all over my stuff. I have no idea what we're doing. They're detailed notes. What, what, what does this mean? <laughs> I write Japanese. So let's get to the questions now. And the question is, what's the question? I will go first. This one is from Dennis. And Dennis says, first I want to thank you. I have never cooked so much and I want to thank you for that. Love you, Dennis. That's go awesome. Dennis. Now I have a question. My slow cooker has clips that lock the lid down. Can I lock the lid down when cooking or not? No. Don't. Those are for travel purposes only. And I believe this is Dennis who won one of our cookbooks early on when we first started the channel. So mm -hmm. hi, Dennis. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Also, lately, you do the cooking in the Ninja cooker, but a lot of us don't have the Ninja, so we can't use the features that the Ninja has. 
I feel left short because I have a basic slow cooker and I need to go back to the basics, please. Okay, well here we go, Dennis, let me tell you something. The reason that I use the Ninja is because it's simple. And sometimes I need things simple. <laughs> So remember, like I showed you last week, how it's got knobs on it, dials. There's no buttons to push. You don't have to look. You know, a lot of but times she makes me tape with my glasses off, and I got to start looking like this. I look like a shrew without my glasses on. But the thing is, I love the Ninja because it's the easiest one to use. You just do that, and you and you set it. But anything that you do in the Ninja that we do in the Ninja, the, there's other yeah. things that you can do. Yeah. What I was going to say is a lot of times um, you will see us use the Ninja on the cooking show because we need to do a browning feature. Now, you can't do browning in a normal, regular slow cooker or crock pot, a basic, and I think that that's what Dennis is getting at. Okay. The reason we're using it on the show is because if we were to go to the stove to try and brown up the ground beef, then we'd have to move all the cameras and lights over there and then move them all back. So we're using Or the... you're just gonna see my butt for about 15 <laughs> yeah. minutes. So we're using the Ninja to um, make it so you can see everything that's going yeah. on for the show. But that doesn't mean that if he's using it to brown and during that step that you couldn't get out your skillet and go ahead and brown on the stove. And maybe we should try and be better about clarifying that when we do that. Yeah. If you see something that we're doing with the Ninja on the cooking show, you can definitely still do that same recipe in um, the um, slow cooker. Pretty much, it's so that we can do all the steps needed and you can see my pretty face the entire time. <laughs> Who's next? Um, are, are you, am I going? or? How many you got left? You got two and I got two? Okay. You do one. Uh, okay. Can we get some ideas on what a person can cook in the casserole crock? Yes. Lasagna. That's one. One of the other things we do, we've done in this casserole crock is the um, cinnamon roll casserole. Um, I'm gonna so step on you here again, and I'm sorry. Hey, give me that. Huh. Hold that. <laughs> All right, next question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this next question comes from Sandy. Hi, Sandy. And it says, can we get some ideas on what a person can cook in the casserole crock? Yes. We have a post or two up about that. And then we also have a tab on the site that says uses casserole crock for anything that we've tested. The bottom line is you can cook just about anything in it. There are some things that cook better in it than others, though. Um... I originally started out thinking that baked goods and casserole, like lasagnas and those kinds of things, would cook at best in it. And actually, I kind of feel the opposite now after cooking for a long time with it. I really like it for meats, that, um, like pork chops or chicken or those kinds of things where you can spread it all out into that casserole dish. Um, so that things cook evenly. But I found with baked goods in the crock pot, uh, like corn casserole and the cinnamon roll casseroles and all that kind of stuff, that I tend to like those better in the six quart now. Even though we've cooked it, it, it will cook up in there. That's fine. But I tend to like the texture and the way that baked goods cook up in a six quart where it'll grab on, because I think it can grab on the side and make it less flat. Mm -hmm. Like if you leave it in the casserole crock, everything's kind of a little deflated, in in my opinion. That doesn't mean that you still can't. Um, or if you're using like a stuffing kind of casserole or something with like the um, the broccoli, a cauliflower, cheese casserole, those kinds of casseroles are still fantastic in it. It's the kind that need to bake up that have that have baking powder in them or a mix that has baking powder in them that I think I prefer those outside of that, which is something counter to what I originally thought when I first started. All right, next question. All right, this question comes from Murphy Lives, I think. I mean, this one's pretty easy, it's okay. Murphy. yes, <laughs> sorry. Murphy, Murphy says, could you please provide simpler few ingredient dump type crock pot recipes? Is she yelling at us? No, stop that. It's in all caps. Yes, but not everybody knows that all caps is kind of like the yelly way to do I just, typing. It's urgent. We should urgently answer no. that question. We did one this past week, the cherry pineapple dump cake. Yep. That went up on the site this week. Yep. Um, 
it was both in a quickie and in the full Cook and Chris's Dishes recipes. It'll be in an episode. Or it'll be in, yeah, it's yeah. in an upcoming episode. I'm sorry. Yep. And um, yep. that's one of many. Um, yeah, we have some on this week's menu. Yep. Um, also, we have some posts that simply are called Dump and Go Recipes. So we'll link that down below so Murphy can find it. Your turn. It's my turn. This one is from Betty. I love that name, Betty. I just think it's... I had an Aunt Betty, and, and she was she was wonderful. She sang beautifully, too. Um, Betty, I just wanted to tell you that I think your recipes look absolutely delish. I just got on your list and have already copied many of your dishes. Thank you. Oh, well, well, that was nice, Betty. Well, Betty, you don't have, you don't have to thank us. We want to thank you, because that was very, very sweet. Thank you, Betty. Um... Yeah, that's just super, super sweet. Okay. This is why we love you guys. This is where we go. Aww. This is why we do what we do, is because y'all are enjoying it. Okay. Um, we get to spend a lot of good time together doing this. We've had yes. a lot of laughs. Um, Lots of fun. But it's when it's when y'all say, hey, thanks for doing what you're doing, and we get to entertain you and you know show you some of the stuff we cook. That's why we do it. So yep. th- thanks a lot, Betty. You just made our day. I am out of questions and comments. Okay. Alrighty. You got one? So, yes. Can you advise... Who's it from? Uh, oh, oh, sorry. It is from Tom. He says, howdy. Howdy, Tom. Howdy. Can you advise of amount of increase for the 8-quart duo Instant Pot from what I just saw on the spaghetti and meatball recipe? It appeared to be a duo 6-quart version of the Instant Pot. I'm a senior and excited to try my new pot, but love spaghetti and meatballs. Do you have to brown them first before loading them into the Instant Pot? Love your column. Keep it up, please. Sincerely, Tom from Oregon. That was a very nice note, Tom. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. And I don't know why you asked me that question. (laughs) Well, I asked you. You know why? I totally set you up. I don't know, Tom, is the answer. Oh, and you thought you were going to ask me, and I was just going, <laughs> well, Tom, here's what, what you do. You take out your calculator, and you take no, six, and you do uh, eight no, divided think, by six. Okay, I think this is where we ask for our uh, viewer and reader help on this. Help. We are relatively new to the Instant Pot um, recipes and all of that. We are adding them slowly as we test them, and, and one of the recipes that he mentioned is one that we've been testing quite a bit. Um, it fills it up quite uh, almost to the top um, of my sixth quart. So I would I would think that you would be okay using that same recipe in your eight quart. What I wouldn't do is go if if it's a larger size recipe, go down in size because then you could accidentally boil over and that could make a really big mess. And to answer your question about browning the meatballs, I do not. Um, they still get a nice... You do not. I do not. I did not know that. No, um, because um, we put the sauce on the bottom, and then we set all of them down in the sauce, and they still are able to get a, a little bit of a brown on them, and Addie just carries on about them constantly. She's like, oh, those meatballs are awesome. But, Tom, yeah. if you want to brown your meatballs, you totally can. Yeah, yeah. you could. But we don't. Uh, no, no. And... Um, like I said, I am not by any means a, an expert when it comes to um, cooking with the Instant Pot. I'm just like everybody else. I heard about them and I started using them. But I'm sure there are lots of people who cook with an 8 core. So I'm sure that there's people, definitely correct me if I'm wrong. What are you doing? Setting up for the next part. Yes. Pressure cookers. Yes. So um, I think you would be okay, but I would love... It, if someone thinks I'm wrong, to tell me so. <laughs> so We're not we too proud to be wrong. So that we don't lead you astray, Tom. And I very much appreciate your very nice note. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank all y'all for the questions and comments this week. Keep them coming. Throw them at us. And uh, um, we will answer as many as we can. Or, or sometimes um, we use that content to... Um, add content to the newsletter. So if you're not subscribed to the newsletter, I'll put a link to that down below too. Um, that way, if we can't, because if a lot of people are asking this similar questions, we like to answer it in the newsletter so everyone gets it there too. What are you doing? Are we recording? There's a red dot. Does that mean it's recording? You're at the camera. Oh, you're going to so kill me if this thing's not recording. Oh no, we're recording. Good. 
I could not go through Freak another out. half hour of that. <laughs> Freak out moment. Um, aren't we going to do the menu next? Yes. <laughs> I just wanted to hold the slow cooker. <laughs> All right, so we're going to jump up and zoom in and show you the menu board. Um, give us just a second. Sure. Ow. Oh. Okay, so we heard from so many of you guys last week that you really liked that we shared our menu, our weekly menu with you. So we're doing it again. And um, so each week we share a breakfast, a dessert, and then we share with you what we're making in our kitchen um, all week long. So it'll probably look different for other people, but if you see something you like, um, all the links will be down below and in the weekly meal plan blog post so that you can have access to all these recipes. So first up, breakfast. The most important meal of the day. <laughs> We're going to do our crock pot breakfast blueberry um, casserole. Ooh. Yes, it's very yummy. It's very, very yummy. Very good. It's, it's very different than a lot of breakfast casseroles out there. So it's kind of like a really, really good... Uh, Let's face it, it's cake. It's, <laughs> it's cake. You're having cake for breakfast and you call it a casserole and everybody says, oh, well, it must be good for you then. Well, it has cream of wheat in it. Too. It does. See, it's, it's a good cake. It's a it. Well, I'm trying to make you think that it's cake. Yeah. Because when you say cream of wheat, things like that, everybody's like, oh, no. no Trust me, y'all. It's very good. So good. That's very good. Everybody loves it. Yeah. Um, dessert this week is going to be slow cooker chocolate lava cake. Yum. Everybody lava the lava. <laughs> Which one? The raspberry or no, the... No, no. This one's the, the original one on the side. Oh, chocolate so, with more chocolate. Yes. Mm. The bubbly lava. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. So then on Sunday, um, no really, it's going to be Sushi Sunday this time. Last Sunday, we totally got our schedule all messed up. We got up. sidetracked, and by the time we got out of church and we had to do some running around, by the time it was time to go get sushi and we were starving, the sushi place was getting ready to close. So it was so, sad. Yeah, we had had no sushi. So, so we're going to have sushi on Sunday. Okay, so Monday is going to be a Crock-Pot Mississippi Chicken. But With. stop, just stop. Look at that chicken. Look at that. That is a cute little chicken she's got there. <laughs> so we're going to have Mississippi chicken um, with, and this will be our chicken thighs, uh, with slow cooker parsley potatoes. So this is a meal that we cook a lot and we very mm -hmm. much enjoy. Both so. of the dishes that we're having on Monday are huge favorites in this yes. house. Yes, yes. So Tuesday, we're going to do slow cooker steak tacos with slow cooker uh, Spanish rice. So it is going to be Taco Tuesday at our house. We're going to get our tacos in order. And we're not going to do anything but speak Spanish all evening. No, we're not going to do that. See? No. See? I don't understand. That's why I'm going to do it in Spanish <laughs> all evening. <laughs> you think he's joking. Okay, Wednesday is... Leftover day. We talked about that last week. Um, so we, after cooking all of this and the leftovers that we have from all the things that we do, um, we're going to have um, leftover day on Wednesday. And this is a question that we get a lot of times is about, like, what do you do with all this food? Like the food that you're cooking for the shows and all that kind of stuff. And if you notice, we don't put lunch on this menu anywhere. Um, we um, use a lot of the leftovers for lunch, and then also we share. If we're going to yeah. be around family, friends, or you take it to work. I take some of my sometimes. stuff into work yep. as well, too. Yep. Thursday is, like, my favorite soup on the site is chili verde soup. And she says she doesn't speak Spanish. <laughs> yeah. I can say taco and verde. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we'll get her there. So we're going to have chili verde soup uh, with salad. So that's what's going on on Thursday. And then Friday, we're going to have crock pot sloppy joe cheeseburgers with slow cooker baked potatoes. And if you haven't tried the sloppy joe cheeseburgers... Very yummy. Stop. Just stop the tape right here. Pause. <laughs> go to the grocery go to, store. Go well, go to the go to the site first, <laughs> recipes at crock.com. Look up sloppy joe cheeseburgers in the search bar and then write down the recipe list, print it out if you want to. There's a printable recipe card for every one of our recipes and go get those ingredients and cook that because it will change your life. Yep. So good. Yep, yep. Saturday is once again recipe testing. So yeah, it's my one of my favorite days of the week. Yeah, uh, so we can't say you'll see it on the site, and we'll talk about it later. But yeah. we always test out all the recipes that go on the site. 
Um, and if it's horrible, you'll never you see never it. You never see it. Mm. And so that's, it's so funny sometimes when people are like, they'll comment on social media and they'll say, hey, have you tried this? And yes, we've tried every single thing. And usually we've tried it a couple of times mm. before it makes it on the side. Yeah, not everything is going to be a staple in our house, but uh, if it makes the list, mm -hmm. like the anything Mississippi that is on our site, yep. we, we, we love it. Yep. Um, now, mind you, if you're from Mississippi and you don't know what we're talking about, I'm sorry. I don't know that it actually came from Mississippi. Mm -hmm. That's just what everyone. But y'all should be proud because, like we said, everybody loves it. Every every single it's recipe that is on our site <laughs> that has Mississippi on it, where it's the Mississippi chicken thighs, the Mississippi pork roast, or I, I say this with with hallowed reverence, the Mississippi beef roast. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, if it says Mississippi on it, it is a favorite in our house. So. If y'all are listening, watching from Mississippi, you should take that as a compliment because Mississippi is an old Algonquin Indian word for beloved. So we're calling this beloved chicken. Are you making chicken. stuff up? Yes, but still, it's really, really good. So y'all are beloved stuff. He makes in Mississippi. stuff up all the time. I really do. He does. Mm -hmm. I get away with it, though. No. But I do want to say this. Um, at work last night, uh, one of my friends hollered and said, Mike, I just went in, we tried one of your recipes from the blog last night and it was really, really, really good. And then, you know, we, so then there was this debate going on in the office. Somebody says, oh yeah, well, I think that recipe is good, but I'll tell you what recipe I think is really good is, you know, I think they said one of the desserts and then our chief said, oh no, 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 the Mississippi beef roast. And, you know, I, I have to agree, not just because she's my boss, <laughs> um, but also because she's right. The Mississippi beef roast out of the 500 and some recipes that we've got on the site is my favorite. But these chicken thighs are right in there at a close second because they're, they're very just yummy. very flavorful. I yep. think we've talked about Mississippi recipes at enough. Length. Yes. yes. We will give them access to all of them so that they could they can find them. But now we are going to shift gears a little bit and <clears throat> and talk about something that has been kind of a hot topic with readers people email me about it all the time yes. um and one of the and one of the the reason i'm bringing this up is mikey keeps saying he wants to do an unboxing but i think you might want to pull the cart over here so it'll be up high enough so that they can see what you're doing yeah but you don't want to put the cart in front of the horse oh lordy show up do we petite. <laughs> she just called me a horse's petite in front of you people <laughs> Let's feel sorry for Mikey right now. Oh. Let's all take a moment I'm of silence. <laughs> Let's count to three and go, aw. Ready? One, two, three. And... Aw. <laughs> oh, sorry. We've run out of time, folks. <laughs> so one of the things that we hear from you guys a lot is about the new Instant Pot that's out there. Or I guess it may not be entirely new, but it's new for a lot of folks. I'm going to scoot this over here. So, um, so it's kind of expensive. So everybody who hasn't already went out and got one, or not everybody, but people send me messages like, is it worth <clears throat> it? How does it work? And all that kind of stuff. And my answer is, I'm pretty new to this, just like a lot of you. And I'm sure that there are other people out there who could give you lots of really great advice. It is great to have on hand. Um, uh, it is, um, especially if you, f you're someone who forgets to put things in the crock pot sometimes, mm -hmm. um, it's really great for like more of that last minute cooking kind of thing, but you still get a lot of that real, the really tender meats and those kinds of things that are, um, that you traditionally think of with a traditional slow cooker. Now this has a slow cooker setting on it. I tell, I haven't, I, I realized yesterday, I'm like, oh man, I haven't even tested the slow cooker feature. And I will tell you, at least for me, and again, there's probably people who can totally answer, the slow cooking feature doesn't work quite the same as a traditional slow cooker for me. Um, to me, my experience has been it's either really, really hot or really, really cool compared to the typical low and high settings that um, I have seen um, in a, a traditional slow cooker these days. Things got more buttons on it than yes, a space shuttle. It, it is a little intimidating, I will say. But once you get to use it, I really do enjoy it. I really do love it. I will say that the 
paperwork that comes with the Instant Pot was very, very um, helpful compared mm-hmm. to what came with the other one, which was just kind of left you at, you got to figure it out. And when you see how many buttons are on the front of this thing, <laughs> anyhow, um, but I will say, um, watch the prices on this because I bet Black Friday and uh, Cyber Monday this fall, I bet it'll be a lot cheaper because this summer at one point, I think Amazon had this down to $90. So the other thing you're going to want to watch when you're looking at it is um, make sure what size you're getting. Ours are all six quart. So that's something. But the other day, if you were following on Instagram, you can follow us at Recipes That Croc. Um, on Instagram, you would have seen me shopping, and I saw something. Do you want to pull it over here? Uh-huh. And I was, like, in shock because, like I said, I was used to, like, 100 more dollar, $150, and this da, 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 was at Walmart for, I believe it was $45. And so... I sent it out and I started talking to people. I'm like, does anybody have this one? I wonder if it works the same as the Instant Pot. And did anybody give a response? I don't think anyone has this exact same unit. Or I don't think, I think people got, I think I wasn't clear in my communication. I think people were thinking I was asking about, Mm -hmm. do you have an electric pressure cooker? Not, do you have this particular brand so we'll shout out right now and ask you y'all does brand? anybody have the farberware seven in one programmable pressure cooker yeah we've got a few comments about how they like people like their pressure cookers one person even said they gave up their slow cookers when they got a pressure cooker now we're not doing that Mm-mm. now here's the other you know thing. why why we're a slow cooker site we're a slow cooker site and here's the other thing i don't want anyone to think that we're going to abandon slow cooking Mm-mm. on the site every time we put up a pressure cooker recipe we have a sister recipe to it so that you can always have a slow cooker version of anything that we put up so don't worry if you see us like like this last week we did the instant pot um, or we did electric pressure cooker spaghetti and meatballs and so we offered up the crock pot version as well at the same time so we're very committed to making sure that we're, we're trying to add some recipes like this for people because they're asking us for them, but we aren't going to not provide the slow cooker version. Yes. So. You ready for the unboxing? Yes. He's been All like, right. he likes the present. I just like opening up boxes. It's like Christmas. Yes. So I will take my very complicated disassembly. Of, uh, and, <laughs> and, and, I thought the knife was on my side. No, it's my, my disassembling instrument. Actually, it's a hunting knife, but you know, I don't do much hunting no more. So. You might read the outside and tell them what all the features are on this one. Go ahead while I... I kind of wish... I wish we had kept my Instapot box so we could compare them. Um, Well, I can't read it if you cover it up, dear. Oh, my bad. Um, It's a six-quart capacity, so that's one of the things that I was telling you to watch for. That's a lot. Um, It's got nine preset cooking functions, um, the safety pressure valve, so... I uh, I would assume, again, correct me if I'm wrong, that hopefully that'll keep people from making the mistake I made with my traditional one. Comes with two books. Here. Oh, let me see the books. Here, here's your books. Okay. Here's a nice so, little hat for oh, you. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> no. Oh, these are no. in the wrong language. It, okay. it covers up oh, your here pretty we go. haircut. It comes with a recipe uh, book, and it comes with the actual Ooh, booklet. Ooh, that's heavy. Yes. So, Sometimes heavy is good. Let's see. We might have to pull this. Okay, I can tell you right now, the That's valves a are a little different, and the valves on my other one I don't think are different. But let's see. Oh, this is different. And I want you to do a close-up of this later on, can you? Yeah. To show them? Well, I can't well, see it. I can do a close-up now. There's slow cook, soup stew, rice risotto, fish steam, steak meat, or steak slash meat, chicken, vegetable steam, beans, lentils, and brown and sear. Ooh, you can brown and sear it. Oh, yes. So we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to test this sucker out. It's darn right. And so follow us on Instagram. Um, recipes that crock. Recipes that crock. We will be talking, and we'll, we'll, we'll update you guys. As we um, start to see how this one works, I think that this one does allow you to do some manual stuff. Um, so anyhow, um, but if you have 
um, an instant pot or an electric pressure cooker and you're struggling to find recipes, Pinterest is always a great place. But also I have found, and I should have had them ready, two different cookbooks that I've really learned a lot from. I still kind of create my own recipes or really adapt some of the things that they have in there. Um, but they've kind of taught me um, a little bit more and it's a little um, less intimidating to use them. So um, we'll, I will put pictures of both of these, actually all three of ours, up in a blog post soon so that everybody can kind of get a look. Because I would say that this being only $45, I think it's a little bit more expensive on Amazon, but at Walmart it was like only $45 that begins to bring this down to a price range where a lot more people can afford it, in right. my opinion. So. Cool. Yeah. We'll check it out and we'll let you know. We will give it a test drive. Yes. Oh. <laughs> now it's time for a huge thank you. I thought you were going to start like singing a song. Now, now it's, it's time, time to, to say <laughs> goodbye to Mikey and Chrissy. <laughs> so we want to thank you for watching our second ever episode of As Good As It Gets. A weekly chat from our kitchen. Yes. I will get that right one of these days. Yeah. Again, if you like what we're throwing down at you, um, comment and give us some shout outs down give below. Like. Give us a like, absolutely. Also, give us a like over on Facebook at Recipes That Crock and also on Instagram at Recipes That Crock. And you can check us out at Twitter at Recipes Crock. Know that. Know that. It gets confusing. We won't go into it. Watch the first episode and you'll understand why. <laughs> but uh, this is the port. The port. The this port. is the port. This is the part of the show where we say goodbye. But before we do, we want to give a huge, huge thank you. We know y'all are excited about the giveaway. We've received a lot of subscribers through this. As of yesterday, which would be September 15th, 2016, we busted over two thousand subscribers i was so excited when i saw it and if y'all remember those of y'all who've been with us for a while in one of uh, the cooking chris's dishes episodes i said at a thousand subscribers i will do something cool and i didn't do anything cool didn't do anything. and i even had a reader uh subscriber watcher viewer whatever you call it, part of one of the gals that are already in our crock posse um, she said, hey, we noticed that you didn't do anything for a thousand subscribers. And you're right, I didn't. So I feel like I should have a little punishment. So punishment? So for 2,000 subscribers, I'm going to do a challenge. Now, I love YouTube. I love watching a lot of the stuff on YouTube. And one of the big challenges right now is... Do any of y'all know what this is? I bet you right now there's people getting ready to comment down below to tell me what this is. Some people are saying, it's a hot pepper. Yes, it is. Y'all know what kind of hot pepper this is. I bet you there's one guy in the Carolinas that knows what this is. There was your hint. This, my friends, is a Carolina Reaper. No, I'm not going to eat this on camera right now because I have to go to work and I'm going to need a voice. But tomorrow, when I get up, I'm going to eat it. Just one of them, not both of them. I'd probably die. But, uh, so that'll be on next Friday. Yeah, it'll episode. be our probably our Friday funny, or it might be our farewell. <laughs> <laughs> Friday farewell. Because uh, I will not be eating that pepper because I don't Chris do don't, that. Chris don't eat hot things. <laughs> so I'll tape that tomorrow. We'll get it out to you on Friday, and uh, just in case I never see y'all again. We want to thank you guys for watching as good as it gets. We want to thank you guys for watching Cooking Chris's Dishes. I want to thank you guys for watching the playlist over at Church Song Sundays. We're working hard to put out a lot yep. of fun things. We're going to be putting out a lot more content for you yeah. guys because y'all are, one, asking us to and enjoying it. And uh, we want to um, help y'all continue to enjoy a little bit of life. Yeah. And I know we're enjoying it. We're having a lot of fun doing this together. Yeah. Um, I think we make a pretty good team. Yeah. Yeah. We're getting there, yeah. aren't we? I think we're trying to figure this thing out, huh? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> so again, we want to thank you guys for watching. Yes, and send us your questions. And your comments. Bye. Bye.